It's happening somewhere right now in our nice little neighborhoods. The United States of America is one of the largest consumers of human trafficking. Our children are being used for the commercial sex trade in our nation by our citizens. Those people who are buying are fueling the market. If they weren't buying, there wouldn't be a market, there wouldn't be the traffickers. Most of commercial sex is underage kids. The first time that I was ever sold, I was 12 years old. I was 10 years old and he told me if uh, I didn't shut up, he would do the same thing to my little sister. Every girl who gets trafficked, that's somebody's baby girl. Most people don't know that boys are trafficked too. We oftentimes turn a blind eye to the exploitation and the things that are happening right beneath our noses. You have no idea what a sex traffic victim's life is like. I was shackled around the ankle, was bolted down to the floor. He would lock me in a room and there would be various men come in and do whatever it is that they wanted to do. And they're telling me how much I have to sell myself for. All I was worth was my body. I can't have children because of all the abuse and all the abortions I was made to have. At the Planned Parenthood facility where I worked, so I was having them sign these consent forms, sometimes for their 16th, 17th abortion procedure. Where is God in all of this? And God immediately replies, where are you? We are mandated by God all of us to be soldiers in this cause. We're compelled by the scripture to rescue them from the hand of the wicked. It takes a work of the Holy Spirit in their lives to restore them. God used a two-year-old little girl in my life to save my life. Once I gave my life back to God, everything changed. It was the name that stood out. I am God's precious creation, and I can say that now because I'm on this side of freedom. The forgiveness was so freeing, like nothing I can ever explain. That's the whole purpose of redemption. That's the whole purpose of the cross.